I was asked a great question today that I thought it would be helpful for others to hear the solution to. So the question is, if I merge a husband and wife and have the wife under the relationships tab, then if I want to automate sending the birthday email like I do for the primary spouse, how can I do it for the, I mean, for the primary contact, how can I do it for the spouse? So there is a workaround to do this. First, you can only do this through the owner account login. That's the only person who has access to do the things I'm about to do. And that is create new custom fields. So under admin custom fields, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the ones I added. Under admin custom fields, you'll want to add a new custom field and call it spouse birthday and make it a date and make it occur every year and click add field. Then what you'll do is if you just want to track this spouse birthday, you'll go into someone's profile. I'll just go into this person's profile um, and put in the spouse birthday here. And then you can create a smart list based on that spouse birthday custom field to say, I want to know if the spouse birthday is in the next seven days. And so you can see the person I just added who is actually the person who asked this question. So thanks Mackenzie for the great question. Um, it shows up on this list and you can save this list as the spouse birthday list. And you can share it with your team. You may be wondering, okay, what about the automation that gets sent? How do I send it to the spouse when it's their birthday? You would go to admin automations, click add automation. Let's call it spouse birthday email. You would say on the calendar date, and let's do spouse birthday is in zero days, meaning it's today. Then do the happy birthday action plan. I don't have the happy birthday action plan anymore. Uh, I deleted it out of my account, but you should have it unless you deleted it yourself. And that happy birthday email sends a fun little gif of a dog jumping jump up and down saying happy birthday. <laughs> so if you're going to be sending that email, I would recommend either having you or an assistant set a reminder to change that GIF once a year so they're not sent the same GIF every year. So one of my favorite websites to go to is Giphy. And I'll just type in something like cute birthday and just select one of these to replace it. So let's say I wanted to do this one instead. I would open up this GIF right click and select save image as and add it to my computer and then once you do you can insert that image into the email that way they don't get the same dog jumping on a trampoline every year and i'm just going to put in a dummy action plan real quick and uh, once you select to send the birthday action plan on this bottom box you want this to run multiple times so what this allows this automation to do is send a birthday every year to the spouse, not just one time. And then you would click save and save and enable, but I'm not gonna do that since I won't be using this. So hope you found that helpful for a workaround for sending the spouse a birthday email when it's their birthday, not just the primary contact. There's an additional workaround if you wanted to specifically reference the spouse's name. That one gets a little bit more advanced. You would essentially need to create another custom field and call it spouse name and then put the spouse's name in that merge field. So I put Bill as an example. And then in the email template, you would need to create a separate one. You wouldn't be able to use the one that's used for the primary contact. So that's why I say it's advanced because you would need to create a new email template. Let's call it spouse B day. And then let's say happy birthday. And then I would put in the spouse name in the custom field. So it only references the spouse. And then you'll say, hi, spouse name, happy birthday. And then put in the GIF. And then you would create an action plan with that email template 
and then you would attach that action plan to the automation. So that was a little more advanced. The easier solution is to not reference the person's birthday and just send it to um, select to send to all emails in the profile and use that spouse birthday custom field.